There is absolutely no way this can be true, can it? Do you really think Ahsoka has been greenlit for season two? We're going to be getting into it right now. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Clifton3D, and believe it or not, there are reports, there are rumors out that Ahsoka Season 2 has been greenlit, and they are moving production from L.A. to Pinewood. Now, will this actually happen? I don't know. Do I think that Lucasfilm would go out and say, yes, this is being greenlit after everything. Yes, I completely believe this. They have been saying that things will be coming out, movies, shows, anything. And at the end of the day, it's gone. It's not there. It's not happening because no one is interested in it. And Disney knows that they will be losing money. And I can't believe that after the numbers have come out for the finale of Ahsoka, that it would be greenlit. But let's go ahead and get into the article. All right. So this article comes to you from comicbookmovie.com. Go and check it out. You know, whatever. I don't I don't really know the site, but there are a few sites that have come out with an article about Ahsoka season two being greenlit, a rumor, of course, and that the production is being moved to the UK. Now, <laughs> this article, Ahsoka was a largely enjoyable experience for Star Wars fans. Though the series appeared to be enjoyed most by those who had previously tuned in to Rebels. That would be me, but I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Regardless, after eight episodes, Grand Admiral Thrawn and Ezra Bridger are back in the main galaxy, and Ahsoka Tano finally put her past behind her after being reunited with Anakin in the world between worlds. Which we don't have confirmation that that was actually the world between worlds. There was no explanation in the show, so. As for Sabine Wren, she's a Jedi now. Yeah. 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 You don't need the Force to be a Jedi now. However, despite these major developments, Ahsoka concluded on an open-ended note. Sabine and Ahsoka are trapped on Peridia, as are Bail Balan Skull and Shin Hati. And we still... Don't know what exactly Thrawn and the Great Mothers are up to. Do we actually know where Shinhati is? I don't have no idea. Needless to say, a second season is essential. Well, uh, yes, the show ends on a point where you're like, okay, uh, first off, it was all. Look, look, I know there are people out there who enjoyed the show, genuinely enjoyed the show. And I'm not going to be, you know, crapping on them. I'm glad that there are people who enjoyed it, who found enjoyment in the show. Not me. And to be honest, I don't think that even half of the fans enjoyed it, especially after the numbers. Just pointing that out. Luckily, some online scoopers are claiming that Ahsoka Season 2 has been greenlit at Lucasfilm. While noting, uh, while nothing has been confirmed at this stage, we're guessing the end of the WGA strike means Dave Filoni has been able to resume work on the series before his planned Star Wars movie follows. What? Not even close. Of note is the fact Ahsoka will reportedly move to the UK's Pinewood Studios, the home of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. 
It was originally shot in Los Angeles, where The Mandalorian is based. And we'd say this is a strong indication that A, the show's scale is increasing, and B, there will be some overlap with Filoni's big screen plans. That could be true. Uh, I just, I'm so, uh, keep checking back for updates here. Blah, blah, blah. Here's a tweet from my time to shine. Hello. And he's, you know, scooper who's been, you know, coming out with rumors from time to time. And you know, from what I gather is sometimes right now at the same time, we get reports about the Nielsen ratings. So, you know, Ahsoka finale viewership clocks in worse than Andor that was chasing the audience. Nielsen released their streaming data for the week of October 2nd to 8th. The eighth episode of Ahsoka aired on October 3rd, and it shows that Lucasfilm's Ahsoka series only brought in 575 million minutes. As noted by X user Mac, this is nearly 100 million minutes less than Andor's finale, which racked up 674 million minutes during its final week between November 21st and 27th, 2022. And here we can take a look from Nelson. Overall, you see here. You see here, you have to go on original to even see the Ahsoka show because on overall, you, you won't see it. The numbers are so, so bad, so incredibly bad. Now here you can see Andor, and of course, you know, the, there are some aspects to it and stuff like that, but apparently Ahsoka was so great. Disney put out so much, you know, they, they went after they, they had, you know, they put episodes into the theater for people to watch and it didn't do anything it didn't help at all now of course yeah there's a few more episodes of andor compared to ahsoka but ahsoka was this flagship was you know going to be what saved star wars did it did it as you can see here andor with 674 million minutes watched Whereas Ahsoka has 575 minutes watched. It's incredible. These numbers, and with these numbers, and Disney still could green light this, make it a possibility of a season two. At some point, you would think Disney would, you know, be like, okay, no, we're going to cut our, uh, our, our losses. Done with it. Anyway, what do you think of this rumor? Do you think it's actually going to happen? Do you think they are going to make season two of Ahsoka? I really don't. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this. And hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. It helps out the channel and lets YouTube know that you're actually interested in my content. All right, that's all for today. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Take care. Until next time.